Good afternoon, VHS, and welcome to the first edition of VHN this school year. Today, we will sit down with the woman behind the camera during Picture Day, talk to football captains, and get blinded by science with Mr. Niddle. We have all this and more, so stay tuned to VHN. Saturday, October 12th, at 5 p.m. in the BHS gym, the Harlem Rockets will play the Barnstable Hoopsters. They are expecting long lines at the door on game day, so see Mr. Taylor for discounted advanced tickets. That sounds like a fun time. Yes, I'm curious to see who's on the Barnstable Hoopsters team. Me too. Well, our very own Kiara was curious to see what people would rather during this month's segment of In the Halls Would You Rather edition. Would you rather use only a spoon for your whole life or only a fork? A spoon because I can still eat cereal. Yeah. A spoon. You want to get every drop. Only use a spoon. Only use a spoon. Only use a spoon, yeah. Nah, fork. Nah, but you need a fork. What about a fork. I need a fork because you can't grab anything because how am I going to eat like chicken with a spoon? That's not going to work. Fork. Only use a fork. Actually, spoon. Because you can do more with a spoon. Spoon. Spoon is the best utensil. I, there's no contest. Would you rather stay in the same city your whole life or move to a different city every week? Same city my whole life because I don't like change. Definitely never be able to leave my city that I was born in. New city every week. Why? New experiences. I love to move to a new city every week because then I could travel the world and I could see a lot of new things. Never leave the city I was born in. Because moving to a new city every week would be kind of difficult in like organizing things. Would you rather create or destroy history? I would create history because it would be cooler and the world would know my name. Oh, I'm making history all day. <laughs> I don't know. That's. May, I, I say like create because I think creating is better than destroying. Delete it because I would delete 9-11. I would delete history because bad things, bad things have happened in the past and um, I would like to change them by deleting it. Would you rather use a donkey or a giraffe for transportation? Uh, being that I am vertically challenged, I would go with the donkey. I think I would probably have a hard time getting on top of a giraffe, most likely. Mm -hmm. Yep. A giraffe. Giraffe? It would be sick. It's a giraffe. You know what I mean? Definitely giraffe. Why? I don't know. I just feel like, I feel like they move faster. Like, I don't know, because they're taller. A, dr a giraffe. <laughs> Why? Uh, I don't know. You could see by there. Yeah. Try and will continue Music T-Shirt Fridays. They encourage everyone to wear a music T-Shirt to show their support for music education. When posting on social media, use the hashtag Music T-Shirt Friday. What shirt are you going to wear tomorrow? Probably Big Time Rush. I heard Mr. Niddle is a Big Time Rush fan as well. Really? Well, maybe he'll talk about that in his month's Blinded by Science. I'm showing a demonstration that involves an ammonia solution and some water that contains an indicator. Now the, the indicator right now is yellow in color and 
I want to pour some ammonia in here. That should be enough. And I'm going to heat the ammonia on a hot plate. This hot plate is pretty hot right now. Now the ammonia is actually a gas, but this is a solution of ammonia. The ammonia actually is dissolved in the water here. So by heating it, I'm going to make it evaporate out of the water solution. So you can see here that some bubbles, the water is moving up and down as gas is escaping out of here. So we, I want it to boil a bit. It's just starting to boil. You can see that now. So now we're about ready. So this I'll turn upside down and you can see this is called the ammonia fountain. All right. So what did you see? Yeah, I changed colors in there. Um, I wanted it to, to stay that same color, but it did turn red at some point, and then it turned back to yellow. And that's because of the indicator. And the indicator will be one color if it's acid, like yellow is in acid, and then it'll turn red in base. And that is called the ammonia fountain. Jazz band and jazz combo editions will take place October 10th in the Music Wing. Students must be enrolled in a music class in order to audition. Sheet music will be posted in the Music Wing. Please see Mrs. O'Connor Vince in room 2710 with any questions or concerns. Barnstable athletic teams are off to a great start this year. So true. I've seen some great games this season. Rachel had a chance to talk to a couple of football captains in this month's Captain's Corner. Hey, my name's Rachel Holzman and you're watching the Captain's Corner. In this segment, we will be talking to two of the varsity football captains about their upcoming season. Let's take a look. Because of the accountability I've shown, and uh, this is my third year on the team, and uh, yeah, probably the leadership in the weight room and stuff like that. All the hard work that I've uh, done in the weight room on the field, just everything. season will be good. Uh, we definitely have a good team, a lot of talent, and uh, we should go far in the playoffs. So uh, right before we uh, we go onto the field, we have a red line painted right in front, and uh, we stand there, we get mentally prepared, leave everything that's not football off the field and everything off that is football on the field. Uh, yeah, I'd probably say the red line is definitely a big one for uh, our team, and then also uh, getting mentally prepared and locked in in the weight room. I usually leave school and then go to Chipotle and have a burrito and go home and take a quick nap and then be in the locker room. I just listen to music uh, and get to a song. Thank you so much, Colby and Declan. You are watching The Captain's Corner. Now we will be looking at the highlights from the Severian game by Taylor Tibbetts. Music is a drug. Music is a drug. Music is a drug. Music is a drug. Drug, 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 drug.
Interested in working in the building trades? Consider attending the Residential Construction Career Day on October 10th. Everything from masonry, framing, and carpentry to architecture and design will be represented at the Residential Construction Career Day. Go see your counselor right now because today is the last day to sign up. How do you think your school picture came out this year? Really good, I think. The photographer was really nice. Well, production assistant Leah actually had the chance to sit down with her. Hi BHS, I'm Leah reporting for B2B TV and here's my insight on picture day. What's your name? Hi, I'm Sarah Thornington from the studio by the sea. I've been here since 86 with the previous photographer. We bought the company in 2001, so a really long time. Um, we do a bunch of schools. We do the intermediate schools. We do um, some of the private schools, Cape Cod Academy, St. Francis, a bunch of little preschools. Do you like dealing with all the kids? Is it, is it, does it go by fast for you? Uh, it does actually go by very fast. Um, I do like dealing with the kids when they're nice to me. Every now and again I get one that's a little tricky. Um, but mostly the kids are nice and, you know, a lot of them make me laugh and it's just fun. It's a fun okay. thing to do. Cool. Do you know, like, the exact amount of pictures that you take in a day? Um, when I'm here, this is probably my most in a day. I usually end up taking probably five, six, seven hundred photos. We probably do about four or five hundred kids in a day on a good day, which is a lot. <laughs> uh, I usually don't like to dress up. Uh, if I'm being honest, I forgot it was picture day today, but it was a nice casual outfit. Did your mama choose it? She did not, mm. unfortunately. Okay. Strike your pose. Right. Okay. That's working it. I love that. Yeah, that's nice. So, yeah, show us your, like, what do you, okay. do your smile. Like that. So pretty. Love that. This is Leah reporting for B2B TV. Hope everyone's photos turned out great. Thank you, Sarah, for talking to me. And back to the studio. Back by popular demand. Friday's at dismissal time in the Busport lobby. There will be free food offerings for students for the weekend. That about wraps up this edition of BHN. Make sure to watch tomorrow's BHN Weekly. There will be next week club meetings and home sports games. As well as a game of Minute to Win It. Have a great day, Barnstable. <laughs> Woohoo! All right, I'm here with Arami, Ariels, Everton, Tiago, Zaire, Kaylin, and Maya. All right, do you have any uh, life advice for any of the students here at the high school? Um, don't listen to what other people say if it's negative. Always be prepared for anything that's going to happen. Float your own boat, like leave everyone alone. Don't really bother people, and um. Just get to class, don't skip, because you'll get in trouble, and yeah. If you want to be a firefighter when you grow up, don't give up on being a firefighter. Work, because someday you'll fight some fire. Yeah, I got something. Do your own thing, like don't follow everybody else's path. Don't, don't yeah. jewel or vape in the bathroom. Don't do anything don't be bad. Be like, yeah. be like the good Don't person. be slow in the hallways, because it's actually taking so long to get to class because yeah, of all yeah. you slow walkers. Be the good yeah, person in like, school. Show the good examples too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you have any dating advice for anyone at the high school? If you truly love them, tell them. No. <laughs> I think I know. Uh, be a nice person. <laughs> <laughs> and make sure like you find the right girl, you know? Because Yeah, just get the right girl that you think fits you. I always got friend zoned and rejected, so um, don't go for the wrong guy or girl. Don't like, then it'll just end up bad. You have rumors spread about you, and it doesn't. Don't date anybody unless you guys have known each other for like a couple of months at least, because yeah. a lot of people are like, yeah. you know. How's the move uh, been from wherever you came from to BHS? Good. Pretty much. Yeah. Nothing. Different. More freedom, I guess. Um, it's not really that difficult. It's kind of like a, it's a big jump, but I mean like, it's pretty easy to adapt to the school. It's pretty quick. Um, it's been pretty good. It's like, I got lost a lot, so they called my mom like three times already, because I've been late to class, but um, I told my mom it's a new school, and um, she said okay. <laughs> <laughs>